Hello, I'm Demiake Mwakalielia. This is In Focus. Vincent Makori is off today, but we do hope you had a safe and wonderful weekend. Starting in Uganda now, African leaders are meeting behind closed doors to discuss boosting the African Union's force in Somalia. The leaders are in the Ugandan capital, Kampala, for the 15th African Union Summit. United States Attorney General Eric Holder is there, representing the U.S. He says the United States will be the AU's partner in meeting such major challenges as fighting terrorism. He adds that ending the threat of al-Shabaab and other terrorist groups will take more than law enforcement. That is why we are working closely with the AU to support the African Union's mission in Somalia. The United States applauds the heroic contributions that are being made on a daily basis by Ugandan and Burundian troops, and we pledge to maintain our support for the AU and the AU mission in Somalia. Now joining us with more on the summit in Kampala is VOA's Peter Heinlein. Hi, Peter. Hello, Dunyaki. Thank you so much for joining us. As we already mentioned in the intro, most of the African leaders are there now. I believe most of them arrived yesterday. Can you just fill us in on what has happened so far? Sure. There was a big opening ceremony yesterday, uh, but uh, today is the business session, and today the uh, leaders are talking about uh, many of the serious issues from Somalia to Sudan, uh, and of course to the uh, summit theme, maternal health. Uh, but uh, the real uh, the, the headlines will be coming out tomorrow when they issue their decisions. Right now, all the meetings are closed. We don't really know what the substance of those decisions is. Now, we've heard uh, from a few speakers, of course, Mr. Holder, who we just um, uh, played a, a little clip of, and then also U.S. Assistant Secretary of State, uh, Johnny Carson, spoke on terrorism and its uh, an importance in trying to help Africa fight it. Can you shed some light on that? Yes. Uh, the uh, Assistant Secretary of State held a meeting on the sidelines of the uh, summit today, a three-hour uh, meeting with the presidents of Uganda, Djibouti, uh, Kenya, Tanzania, Somalia, the uh, Prime Minister of Ethiopia, the Foreign Minister of uh, South Africa. Uh, it was, uh, uh, again, a closed-door meeting, and most of the uh, uh, participants came out uh, without saying a word. But uh, Johnny Carson was, uh, did fill us in a little bit. He said, yes, Somalia is responsible for terrorism. We have to stop it. We're committed to work together. Uh, with other countries. The uh, European Union was, it, it is the major uh, financial backer of the uh, Amazon force. The United States provides uh, logistical and other support, uh, and, and uh, some of the countries in the region are uh, supporting in, in a big way. But, of course, the troops come from Uganda and Burundi. We're hoping for another uh, infusion of Guinean troops uh, very soon. Now, on another note, uh, current chair of the AU and also Malawian President uh, Bingwa Mutarika uh, made an interesting comment about the ICC and its recent decision on uh, Sudanese President Omar al-Bashir. President Mutarika said we have to explore the possibility uh, that uh, maybe a sovereign head of state shouldn't be indicted without uh, undermining, that it might undermine mm -hmm. African solidarity and African peace and security. So Peter there's Heinlein. a strong mood, even among ICC supporters, that uh, okay. maybe the ICC has gone too far. Peter Heinlein, thank you so much. I'm sure we'll be talking to you again tomorrow, but uh, wealth of information there, we appreciate it. That's Peter Heinlein joining us from the uh, Ugandan capital of Kampala.